Hare Krishna. All of us have certain intelligence. There is some cleverness that is there within all of us. And unfortunately, all of us have certain amount of corruptness also. We have certain corrupting uh, impressions within us. There may be selfishness, uh, apathy, lust, anger, greed. Now, the Bhagavad Gita states how these corrupt desires within us can actually sabotage our cleverness also, our intelligence also. In 341 it states that Indriyani mano buddhir asyadhishthana muchyate etair vimoha yatyesha jnana mavritya dehinam So it says Indriyani mano buddhir that in the senses, in the mind and the intelligence selfish desire, corrupting desire is situated. And from there it deludes us. Etair vimoha yatyesha Jnanam avritya dehinam we are, del we are deluded, we are bewildered from there. So what is the solution? That means there is corruptness within us and cleverness within us. When the corruptness becomes very strong, then it uses the cleverness to cover the corruptness. That means we do something wrong and we are very careful not to avoid the wrong but to do it in such a way that we don't get any unwanted consequences from it. We use our cleverness to cover our tracks rather than to change our tracks. Cover our tracks means that nobody should detect what I have done. Change our tracks means just don't do that thing. So we uh, now this is not the this is certainly not the recommended way in which our cleverness should be used. Uh, real cleverness is not in covering our corruptness but in countering it. And that's what Krishna tells two verses later in 343. There is this formidable enemy of the corrupt desires within us, within you. Krishna says, conquer it using your intelligence. Evam buddhe, with your intelligence, param buddhva. Situate yourself on the spiritual platform and thereby counter the inner corruption. And that's how you can move forward in your life. So, uh, if we let the corrupt influences become too strong, then they will overrule the corruption, cleverness within us and use it for their purposes. But if we nourish our cleverness by studying scripture regularly, then the cleverness will become stronger than the corruptness and it will counter it. Thank you. Hare Krishna.